Okay, so to get started, I've masked down the area that I don't want touched by the paint. And I just simply used my mats, some white paper, masking tape, whatever you got that works that mask it off. Because you don't want drops of paint everywhere else because you're not going to have time to stop and clean it up. And I want to do this fast. Uh, I don't exactly know what my reason for it, except it seems to work better. <laughs> so I'm going to use three colors for this project. And what I've done is just laid down two Glimmer Mist stencils. And um, the top corner over here is uh, Tim Holtz Mask, and it's the lady's name that this is for. So I'm going to start by picking an area and painting. I'm going to go from light to dark with this. So around her name, because I really want her name to stand out, I'm going to go with yellow. And remember, I'm using this as mask, so it's what's outside of the stencil that will be sprayed. So you want to kind of get your stencils as flat as you possibly can also so that you have even, even coverage and also that you don't have paint sliding up under the stencils. Okay, and as I said, I'm using three different colors and I'm just going with it. Splotch. I'm going to splotch if I can get one more. Okay. And then I'm going with this darker color, the darkest. And I'll get a little closer. I don't want a lot of it. There we go. Okay. The other thing I've done is I've made myself a pan of water and vinegar so that I could immediately dump my stencil in it and keep the paint from drying on it. Now, I suggest that you use gloves for this, but um, I'm being bad and I'm not using gloves. <laughs> so, now I'm going to pick up the stencils. Look at that. And I'm going to lay that right in that vinegar water. If you do it really fast, most of the paint comes right off. Isn't that perfect? Okay. Going to give that a few minutes to dry. On to the next phase. Okay, for this next phase, I am going to use the Tulip White Matte fabric paint with the dispenser on the top that you could write with. And I'm not really good with writing, but it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the thing about art, right? So I'm going to just simply start, and this is kind of messy. Normally I would wait for this to dry, but I want you to see the whole effect. So I'm just going to rest my hand on this napkin. Normally you could have something else down here to rest your hand. And I'm just going to Make sure the paint's in the tip, and it is, and then I am going to just follow the line. And when my hand starts getting tired, I stop and pick up where I left off. Okay, so I finished with my, I guess we'd call it Fleur de Lis.
voila, here you have it, the finished product. Fun, funky, and fast. A sexy apron to wear at an event maybe that you're giving or just for fun around the house. Hope you enjoyed. What do you think?